Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome and make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you tell your friends to tell another friend to tell another friend because that's how we do it here and so welcome so much and if you're not new, thank you so much for your support because the family is growing and it's all thanks to you guys. So I'm so grateful for each and every one of you and you can be assured that I don't take anything for granted. So listen, today we're going to, um, I'm going to react to uh, the video from Wadimaya where he's donating $10,000 to the most creative man in Ghana. So I'm really curious to know what this man has done because he must have done a tremendous job for, you know, Wadimaya and I guess with his, you know, supporters to donate this, you know, type of money because it's not it's just not one dollar or a hundred it's ten thousand so make sure you stay until the end and let's get straight into this one okay it's early morning we can see the fog wow Uh, uh, what am I is, uh, you know, team, I don't know who, I think that the, his video guy and the one who's taking the, the, you know, the drone shots is doing a great job because of creativity in his videos. And you can see that they've been just going up and up and up over, you know, the years. And wow, great job. Ghana, you have, you know, such beautiful places. Just makes me think of hiking. You know, I love hiking, the mountain areas, the nature. Okay, okay. channel it's your favorite village boy mr Ghana baby i'm back again in my own country welcome to the motherland welcome to ghana and we're actually going somewhere i don't know what to tell you but um i'm actually going to kohu i've been there before and uh, from kohu i'll be in kumasi but what am i going to do in kohu i told you guys that it's time for us to use this youtube platform to start a change right it's time for us to use this youtube platform to what? Make an impact. I've always been saying that I'm not here for your fame. I'm and you're doing a great job. You're doing a tremendous job. And I think so many people are grateful for you. And that's why I guess you're the father of, you know, all these people who now want to showcase their countries, who want to create an impact and, you know, just looking up to you. And that's why I feel all the competition going around doesn't make sense. You know, it should be like a united uh, kind of, um, you know, um, partnerships, you know, with different YouTubers and not competition because that's how everything just falls apart and all the efforts can just, you know, tumble down. So, yeah, so you're doing a great job. I'm not here to be too famous, but the little fame that I have, I want to use it to mm -hmm. make an impact. Being on this YouTube platform, it's all about impact for me. I mean, six months ago, I asked for a favor. I went to interview a man here in Ghana who converted a refuse dam into a beautiful park. And I felt like, you know what, if he has been able to do this on his own, then why not use my YouTube platform mm. to what? Ask for funds for us to give it to him to continue the good work that he has already started. Right. If I have support from people, then I'm going to write their names. There, yes, so that you, you don't you don't have to you know, stop talking, stop talking. Right? Like I, I I don't even know what to say right now, knowing that everything in here was done by you. You invested your own money to do whatever you're doing in here. I think I have a team of people that can support you. Do you want to support you? Please, please, 
we need to fence the whole area so that if um, over the Easter, for instance, we can let Shatawale, Stone Boy, Stone Boy in Stone Park, <laughs> we can have Sarkodie and all oh, these that. people here. Wow, that's beautiful. Did he do that himself? Okay, because I haven't watched the video, um, you know, that when Wodemai went to visit this man. And, okay, so from what I understand so far, he went to... To, to interview him because he's doing a great job. Uh, so it's Abitifi's Stone Age. Okay, so all right. So just making the you know everything green again and maybe a comfortable place for people to go visit and spend time with families. Hmm. Yeah, and the place is so big that we can. Okay, so Abitifi's Stone Age. So if you're from Ghana, let me know if you have been there. Let me know what you think about the place. Let me know, um, yeah, what's the place all about? Just, you know, just comment in the comment section below. 3,000 people and wow. it wouldn't affect us. That's beautiful. Is it like a hotel, a restaurant? What is it? Let me know. You know what I want to do to help you? I'm going to start a crowdfunding for you. Mm -hmm. uh, each and everyone watching this video is your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana Baby, and I'm here at the Stone Age Park here in Apetifi, Kowu to be precise. You know what? What this man has done is beyond me. This is impressive. Like, I never knew that this is what I'm going to expect. So what I'm going to do today is that I'm going to create a, crowd, a GoFundMe page. Please, it's going to be transparent. Donate and let's give it to this man to continue his vision. You need to achieve it before anything. You know what? Do me a favor, a dollar is enough. I have over 500,000 people. If each and every one of you can donate a dollar, I think you can give me $500,000. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm not here alone. I'm here with Tayo Aina. It's actually filming a video. I, I just want to interrupt him, man. Ah, I, let, me, let me interrupt you, man. <laughs> no, tell this uh, Robert G1 that, hey, welcome to Ghana, bro. What's up, bro? How are you doing, man? I'm good. You're good? How long have you been in Ghana, man? I've been in Ghana for like uh, two weeks now. Okay, a week now. I was live in Ghana. It's chill, man. Just we love to see. Yeah. Okay, so Tyro is as Nigerian. I can tell from the accent. I guess he's Nigerian. Am I right? See, life in Ghana without me is chill. So now that I'm here, is what? It's not. It's not. There's no difference. <laughs> 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 Yo, so yeah, so Tyro is in Ghana. I really want to tell them something. I mean, why are we on YouTube? Okay, so Tayo Aina. All right, I will check him out. I will. Making an impact in life. Exactly. Whatever we're doing for Africa is all about impact. One, we want you to know that it's possible in Africa. It's possible to invest in Africa. It's possible for you to, I mean, choose Africa as what? Holiday destinations. But don't just come here for holiday destination, also come here to live. But after all these things, we also feel like it's time for us to use our platform to make a change in people's life. Right. I mean, we support. So, I mean, we have to go now because, I mean, the sun is too shiny, man. I'm coming, I'm coming from Namibia and then Kenya, man. Too much cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kenya is quite cold, especially in Nairobi. Um, yeah, it's it's quite cool. It's often very cool. So I, apparently it's hot in Ghana, you know. So if you're from Ghana again, let me know in the comment section below. Um, you know, is it always hot or do you have some cold seasons? Let me know. There's no cold in this country, man. It's 24 7 summer. Okay. Tell them something before we go. So yeah, guys, um, I totally agree with him. One of the major reasons we started our channel was to make an impact. And when he called me and he reached out to me today and he was like, oh, he's going on a road trip to a part. What's the call? Cool. 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 Hey, hey, to cool. hey. Cool. Cool. she sounds like a Ghanaian now, man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, something to somebody that was raised mm -hmm. for the person. I was like, oh, I need to join you along and tag along with this. Yeah. And also, along the way, we are also exploring Ghana, the beauty of Ghana. Ghana yeah. is really beautiful, guys, man. See the landscape, the vegetation, like even where we are currently, the rest stop. Um, it's the place where people are traveling to Kumasi and the rest to stop by to grab food and all that. Exactly. So it's really cool, it's really nice, man. I'm really enjoying myself here. Anyone who uses this road knows 
learn that off. Yeah, you can pee here, eat here. You can even find love here. You know, this guy never found love, bro. <laughs> yeah, because you see beautiful women ever. See, see, turn the camera, man. Yes. Ah, 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 see beautiful women, no. So here, whenever you're going to Kumasi, when you stop at Linda Door, tell me, hey, just take out your phone and start conversating with them. That's when you find your future wife. Thank you. <laughs> I just love the, how unbothered Wadima is. He's just like a free spirit. And he's so right. Because most of us, we spend our life thinking about what people we think about us, who is going to judge us. Am I laughing too loud, too low, not enough? Am I this? Am I that? Am I looking nice for this? But who cares? Just do you. And that's what I love most about Wadima. He just does him. He doesn't really care. And I feel like when you get... I mean, with years it comes, but when you get to that point where you don't really care what the other person will say about you, then that's where life begins. And honestly, take it from me, that's where your life begins because I know what I'm talking about. And when you don't really care about, you know, others, other people's opinions of who you are, then, then your life will be perfect after that and you just do you. And it's like the most fulfilling thing that you will ever do. So... What am I? <laughs> I love his love. I love his personality. He's unbothered. He's just living his best life. He, the guy is living his best life. just he did a great job wait a minute what it's a beautiful african dance and they are chaining them up but hey who did this this place used to be what a refuse dump and one man decided to move all the way from jet good job sir you did a tremendous job good job come back here this is his hometown and he decided to transform a whole refuse dump into a beautiful park that you see. And as you can see, it's made of a playing gun for the kids in here. Ha! Ah. <laughs> I told you guys, he's unbothered, like completely. <laughs> saw and great job you did a great job
Yeah, what am I, uh, the president? <laughs> Busy man. Thank you. A lot of things are changing here. Eh? Trees are now growing more. It's raining season. Oh. Nice to meet you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, you have a very beautiful house. You do. Oof. Man, what do you think about the house, man? Man, it's dope. I like the stone. The stone. Look at the stone. Look at the red color. Look at the design. You know, like this half circle. You know, it's really nice. I think it's a tank on the rooftop, maybe for the collecting rainwater. Uh, wow, it's beautiful. Really nice design. Everything has been well planned out. Really fantastic. Really? Wow. I like the stone wall. This too? Yeah! Wow. Everything. Oh, that's so... That's so artistic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Okay, he's writing the check. Okay, okay. Creative man in Ghana. I mean, they don't think you're the most. You don't think you're the most creative man in Ghana. No, I don't think so. I think there are some more. <laughs> and you know, moreover, he's uh, he's very humble. You know, humble man. Other people, I'm trying to do my best. <laughs> I don't think I'm the most. If you don't know what he has done, let me educate you. Mm. I mean, do I have to tell them your story? This place was a refuse dump. Yes. He decided to do what? Clear the place, clean the place, and plant flowers, make the place beautiful for the cave. For the cave. Yeah. So there's a cave down there, and because of the cave, you have to do this to support the cave. What do you guys see this waterfall? I, I don't know. Can you tell them how you did it? This is all the water from the kitchen. Soap water, oil water, everything from the kitchen. Yeah. It's filtered, and it comes down here. So we have a, a big tank under, so we harvest all the water and then pump it back. So it's going in circulation. Yes. That is our waterfalls. That's the waterfalls. Yes. He has done an amazing That's fantastic. Yeah, he's done an amazing job. I honestly, I am, I am astounded. I guess, you know, great job. You know, and sometimes we don't have to have a lot of money to start something good. Or even just doing something for you, for your town, or you know, it sometimes just those small steps, slowly by slowly, as long as you love what you're doing and you're doing something for the society. And actually, I wouldn't be surprised if he's doing it for free, you know. Uh, and people don't pay, a, you know, a dime to go into the park, you know, and it's next to his homestead. So, wow, great job, really. I I love this. So. You deserve the ten thousand dollars. I think it will help you a lot. Job, man. And um, you know, I don't want to make my video so long. Why I came in here today, I've been sent by my audience to come and give you this. Sorry, this is um a check of um fifty thousand Ghana City. Okay, so they call it the, okay, so in Ghana, okay. All right, I would be curious to know. Uh, so, uh, so one dollar equals how many Ghana shillings? How do you say that? How, what's the money in Ghana? Let me know in the comment. Educate me. I'm sorry, I'm ignorant. I have no idea what you call the Ghanaian, um, you know, money divide. You know, so let me know. <laughs> Fifty thousand Ghana CD. Wow. Yeah. So Ghana CD, is it okay? Let me know. Just let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much. Let me know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but just, I I have no idea. You know. Let me know. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> you know. Let me tell you. And this is what we call like 
I mean, giving an impact is look at how happy this man is. Look at how happy, what am I, ease for making somebody else happy. So he will sleep like a baby, he will have a good night because, you know, he's just like rendered a smile to somebody and, you know, and the, the guy on the other hand knows that he probably has, he still has a lot to do and, you know, his works will stay generations and generations to come. So it's a beautiful thing, um, you know, for... Yeah, for both of them, you know, I just love the smiles on their faces. It's um, oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, he's heavy, sir. Don't break, don't break yourself. <laughs> you can't tell me. You can't tell me. Let me tell you. Yeah, Mr. Ben. Oh, your name is on this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fifty thousand Ghana City. Wow. Who would love to do more? But they told me that I should come and check whether. Things are improving before they do more. Oh, yeah. But um, wow. you're watching us. Do you have any message for them before I ask you my next <laughs> question? I want to thank the whole world community right. who have contributed to this amount. Hey, my gang is no joke. It's a no joke. They really represent. And yeah, I, and I'm so happy for all the, you know, the, <laughs> the Maya gang in my tribe. Uh, and so welcome, everybody, welcome. It's so amazing. And you, people, you don't know what you've done. Mm -hmm. You don't know what I'm going to use this money for. Right. And I promise you, I'm going to use any city, any penny of this money to develop the place. Mm -hmm. So that next time when you come here, you will see more oh, and you enjoy it. See. So thank you very much, and Maya, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. See, yes. Whatever he's doing in here, wow. people that are coming in here, he's not even charging them a dollar <laughs> or a Ghana city. You see, I'm, I, I'm not surprised. You can just tell from the gentleman's face that he's a generous man. He just wants to give back to the community. So he's not even charging a dollar. I mean, I don't know how much um, Ghanaian CD the CD, yeah, and so, yeah, so, let me, oh my goodness, love it. Everyone just coming here, do whatever they want to do and go back. And I believe wow. that, see, this is not, this is just the beginning. Yeah. I want to make sure I'm going to come back again, but I want them, listen, you need a fence wall because we yes. need to start charging people. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the thing is, the, thing is the, the more reason why we also need a fence wall mm -hmm. is also to protect what we have here because we want to have like swimming yeah swimming pool and i feel protected from protruders i don't know if you have any or uh, is it a safe i mean probably you've had incidents of people who just come into the property maybe oh yeah we want to have other indoor games when you have a swimming pool and people can just come in like that you will come and one day somebody is even dead in the world, uh, swimming pool so we need to protect it in the night and we also need to protect intruders okay. of them coming onto okay. our land. Mm -hmm. So the okay. fence wall is our priority and we need it so badly. Oh, you know why it's so badly? Some of you are not part of the people who donated this money. But I want us to do this. Please don't, don't give me money again, yeah? I'm going to put any account details that you have. Okay. Mobile money, bank accounts, mm -hmm. there are people living in Ghana who would love to support you. Yeah. All the CEOs that have been watching my videos, each and everyone who have been watching my videos, you know, I know this money is not enough, but I know that we've done our best. Yes. The video had wonderful 100,000 views. I've been able to raise $10,000, which is amazing. So please yeah. do me a favor. If you know that you are not part of these people, I'm going to leave his details. Help him achieve his dream. This is what we need to do. I mean, is it Kyla Jenner? Become rich. Yes, guys, if you can, go ahead. I will go. Uh, and watch that video and you know just under the description box below you will have the full video to what am I is and if you would like to contribute and you know help you know this gentleman continue with his project and yeah so you can just go ahead and donate by his fans just donating money for him to become a billionaire yeah. yeah. you can donate a dollar African you know this is your time to support an African because even African is out there Trust me, if I see you, I'll say, that's an African, that's my brother. Right. Let's do this, man. Let, let's do this together. I mean, and this is not for myself. I'm doing it for the Abitifi town. 
is for the Abitifi community. Mm -hmm. Because this thing, what I'm doing, I don't think my family can take care of it. Wow. So it's something I'm thinking of having a board of directors who are going to take care so that mm -hmm. there is a continuation. Even if I'm not around, they'll be able to. And then that is, the continuation is there. So people, what you are doing here is for the next generation. It's not for my generation and it's not for now. So please help us to help ourselves. Mm, right. I'm speechless. Yeah. The togetherness, you know, the togetherness. I mean, I'm telling you, if Africans come together, the power in Africa is just amazing. If people would just stop being selfish, egotistical, whatever, however you want to call it, then things will be different today, you know, in Africa, because we have everything that we need, the resources, everything, name it, the, the, the talents, the, the intelligence, you know, just name it. We have it in Africa. So if we come together, like we say in Kenya, you know, Pamoja, you know, so it will be, you know, fantastic. So help a brother, help him out. That is doing something for the community, mm -hmm. and I'm so glad that our community are taking part in helping him build something for the community. Mm -hmm. So yeah, don't forget to send him a message. I'll leave all his details, mm -hmm. and don't forget to share this video so that other people will see it. And if you want to support him, you can support him. So I'll be back again here, maybe in six months time, with another book. checkbook. And no, but that checkbook you need to tell me. Tell me that you what, what, how mm -hmm. many, much money you receive from them. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And I've seen people come in here, they yeah. say they came here because of Wadamaya. Yeah. Hey. It's always, always, <laughs> that is what everybody is telling me. Really? Yes. Wow. I saw, with my, I saw your video. I, mean, oh, I, saw, I, yes. I just met someone. It's wonderful. It's like, I'm just so saying, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Yes. I mean, I have to thank you for giving me the opportunity to meet you. Yeah, yeah you. but without your help, this money will never come in. Mm. We'll do better next yeah. time. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah. I love you all. This is what I've always been saying. It's time to use this YouTube channel to make an impact, to start a change. And it's starting here from Ghana and it's going to cut across the entire continent. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't know what to say again. I'm just feeling so emotional. <laughs> and I'm going to see you. Here is a beautiful stone age pack. Thank you. It looks good. Thank you. All right. Get it. <laughs> And, oh, I loved it. I loved it so much. And I'm so, so, so grateful for this, you know, for this man, because I feel that he's done a lot for his community and he's done a great job and he only deserves the $10,000 because, oh my goodness, um, he did a tremendous job. And so thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Wodemeyer, for showcasing these extraordinary humans from Africa doing things for Africans. So it's fantastic. So guys, listen, I hope you enjoyed my reaction. I hope you had a nice time, you know, and I hope that if you did, hit the subscribe button and make sure, like every time, make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye. Bye.